lot of people don't understand the sea and they think that's a nice bed of water and it's such a nice sunshiny day we're going out for a cruise but I'll tell you between the breezes that can come up and the fog that come in it is a dangerous place it's no place to be playing games or half canned up or anything like that it's strictly business serious business Born in 1934. Been a long, rough life, but uh, I've lived through it. That's the main thing. My first job, 21 cents an hour. 21 cents an hour. Yeah. And I've been struggling ever since. <laughs> but always managed to. Keep my head above water. Well, I probably started fishing when I was about 10 years old. I know it was. And I'm now, I'll soon be 80, so I've been fishing for 70 years. When we first started fishing, we had a safety pin. And a string, a white string. And you put a worm on that or a piece of wiener or something, a piece of bacon. And when you hooked it, you just slung it like crazy the minute it bit. And it wound up in the bushes or, and it would be wiggling and wobbling in the leaves if it didn't hit a rock or something. But if, and, and you could find it. But if it hit something hard, it knocked itself out. Out. You lost it because you'd be laying still in the, in the leaves and that, and you couldn't wouldn't be moving the leaves and making any noise, and you'd lose it. <laughs> a heck of a way to fish, but that's how it was. For years we did that. Yeah. God, then when we got fish hooks, we thought we were really big time. One time, I went fishing, and I fell in, because we were celebrating. I knew if I was underwater, just my head out, that I couldn't survive, so that's what was the fright, the fright that bothered me so bad about water. And my buddy said, my God, Manny, what are you doing there? I said, I fell in. But it didn't, I don't, it didn't bother me that time. After that, it didn't, it didn't matter. And that's when I got, I lost the fear of going on the water. If you're going out to sea, uh, it can be nice and sunny. And like they say, if you don't like the weather here in Nova Scotia, you just wait a minute. Because it can change, bang, just like that. And. Uh, it gets scary because it's the winds or the fog. The fog is just as bad as the winds because if you don't have a compass and you don't know how to read it, you haven't got a hope in hell of knowing where you're going. I've, I've lost a few friends that, that went out uh, flounder fishing and uh, winds come up and uh, swamped them. And uh, some got off and the boat and some didn't. Yeah. I've had friends that I lost. Yeah. Never been found. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fishing with family was the thing for me. It was. I enjoyed that because we were all family and, you know, it was so nice to see your kids catching fish, you know, and I had taught them how to fish and 
Most of them today can outfish me or out hunt me. They do this. And at one time, I had seven kids. I used to tell them what to do. Now they tell me what to do. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> yes, truly. The only thing would stop me from fishing and if the old fella up this guy there and besides that I gotta give up walking her. My arms and legs and fingers don't work anymore, then I'll probably have to quit. But I know I have some family that if I couldn't walk and if I was in a wheelchair would take me to the harbor where I could fish off the wharf or they'd pick me up and put me in the boat take me out with them. Yeah, family is very close. All through life, I had a lot of ups and downs, ins and outs. I always tried to make the best of what I had to work with and to make sure that every moment counts. Make sure every moment counts. <laughs>